Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. We all know fuel prices are going through the roof. I'm going to show you in this video what the prices are as of May 16th, 2022. Today is May 22nd, 2022. I'm going to use EIA.gov for the national fuel average. And I'm going to also show you state by state average by the AAA. AAA is a good resource to uh, use for fuel prices in per state. So, and I'm gonna also give you a couple tips how to save some money at the fuel pump. So cue the intro. <laughs> Editing this video, I hear the hum. That hum is for my ref reefer. I have a load of fresh food on. So that's what the hum is. I'm sorry if you hear it, if it bothers you too much. Let me know. If I have to, I'll shut down the reefer to do next videos or whatever. Or drop a trailer and bobtail away or whatever. If this is interfering with you, let me know if the noise, the background hum is affecting your video. I'm going to show you what the national average for EIA.gov every Monday, Tuesday, if there's a holiday, they show the weekly update on all fuels. Diesel fuel, gasoline, I believe propane, natural gas, all that. It was, we'll show you in region and national average. The national average for gasoline, regular unleaded, is $4.49 as of last Monday. Tomorrow they'll come out with a new report, which they might not advertise till Tuesday but it's EIA.gov. So here's the screenshot of the fuel price. And then I'm gonna show you the triple A state by state breakdown. Then I'm gonna give you some other news that might help you save some money. So let's go to that. Okay, I live in the state of North Carolina. The national fuel price is $4.37, they say. Of that $4.37 of the state of North Carolina, what do you think we pay government? We pay the government every gallon, 56.8 in the state of North Carolina. Every state has different fuel prices. I'm just went to the state of North Carolina and checked. Every state has to pay 18.3 cents a gallon to the government for tax and then every state other words has a different one so that's what 38 and a half cents a gallon in the state of north carolina you're paying for road tax highway tax whatever you want they call it do they use it on the roads i don't know a lot of these roads are in terrible condition but i'm going to give you some tips right now that might help you save some money i personally haven't used these two apps but I hear good things about them. Gas Buddy and Gas Guru. There's a couple of other ones I keep here and advertise. I personally haven't used it. But there's some things you can do to help save to get better fuel mileage. One, one will be 
limit your travel watch your speed there's an easy one you can do some cars has monitors that tell you what the air pressure in your tires are some cars you don't they make valve caps with different color different weight uh air psi they will change color so all you have to do is just walk around the cars and, oops this one's red need some air this one's green it's good to go my ex-wife was bad for not checking air pressures and we ruined a lot of tires so i bought this caps we didn't ruin any tires anymore you can probably buy them on amazon i bought those in autozone advance years and years ago but things you can do is check your air pressures run cruise control because they say cruise control is a lot better than your foot mythbusters did videos about this another rumor is you can ride close to a trucker's butt right there and get better fuel mileage that is not the case they proved it they also found out running the air windows up and having the air conditioner on is better for fuel mileage than when the windows down check out mythbuster series about it just walked back in the trailer and showed you how far back before you can start seeing my mirror 50 75 feet if not more if you cannot see that left mirror on my side of my door i can't see you there's other people decide oh oh we gotta get in front of that rolling billboard truck yeah front of that truck i've had a many a driver all the time had to hurry up and get in front of that big truck just to slow back down and then i turn around and pass them again and then two miles up the road no mountains no hills flat roads oh 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 he passed me i gotta get around him i can't see maintain your speed don't speed up and slow down it's worse on your fuel mileage check your air pressure don't follow too close don't do erratic movements i had a guy today was in the fourth lane there was like three lanes of the interstate i was in the middle lane he had to hurry up get in front of me slow get cut me off slow me off and swerve to hit the exit he almost hit two cars by hitting that exit because he had to get in front of this big truck or any truck we can't stop on a dime just remember that but here's some other tips that might help you save money i mentioned gas buddy and gas guru a lot of gas stations offer a credit card or a rewards card i know sheets just a rewards card saves you at three cents off the gallon just having that car and putting in when you before you put your credit card in there's other uh there's i know around the house we have ingles you buy so much at groceries they knock down the price of gas at a gas pump a lot of gas stations a lot of grocery stores has gas stations and that's what they do a lot of the big box bulk stores the bj's wholesale club sam's club i believe most sam's clubs has gas stations and you buy so much you save at the fuel pump there's also uh costco only problem is those gas those around at least around me in north carolina they don't have diesel my volkswagen runs on diesel i mainly fuel it sheets because i know that fuel is constantly turning it's not sitting at a mom and pop truck gas station i don't know how long that fuel has been in a tank i know sheets has got the turnover right that's not going to be watered down by sitting in a tank for a long time watch where you buy the fuel another thing let me get a drink of water real quick another thing is uh watch for the octane level coldest water bottle i put ice in it friday morning it is sunday one o'clock 1 30 link will be in the description it saves you some money if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i've noticed in my last couple videos i have 99 percent of people not hitting that subscribe button and i got about one eighth of the people hitting that thumb up they help the channel other tips i mentioned following too close is not good i mentioned limit your travel using cruise control another thing you help you save your money is where you buy fuel do they have rewards problem cards if 
you have good credit and you have credit cards. Does any of your credit cards give you rewards for buying stuff? Right now, most people are spending seventy to a hundred dollars at a fuel getting filling their car up now or pickup truck up now. When I was at the house, I filled up my Volkswagen in eight gallons was I believe forty four bucks, forty eight bucks, something like that for like seven or eight gallons. If you use a rewards card, they give you a little bit back. I used the Sheets card; they give me three cents off the pump right there. Now that the Sheets. I think diesel was like four, it was like five something a gallon. If I went to the Lowe's, one exit up, two exits up, it was an extra 20 to 30 cents more a gallon for just the diesel, for the, uh, for the cars, auto diesel. What is other people using to save money? I mentioned AAA, they'll tell you, give you different gas stations, Gas Buddy, Gas Guru. I haven't personally used those apps. What is people using to save money i like to help other people maybe your ideas work like i said i know the gas cards a lot of them offer five or ten cents a gallon off of such a such day i think shells like 20 cents off on tuesdays or wednesdays or something like that shop around now some gas stations show regular leaded four dollars and 52 cents for 87 then right below it they have 88 for like 425 people look that's 25 or 40 cents a gallon cheaper 88 octane is more ethanol a lot of cars can't run on higher ethanol so watch you have to make sure you check what you put in your car that sign saying 88 you think it'd be better it's ethanol which is corn now if you have an e85 car you could run the higher ethanol contact check your owner's manual what can you and can't are they recommending for your car i know a lot of states mandate so much ethanol in their in their oil gas and diesel and all that biofuels this is what they call it so check make sure you look and put the right on or not just go oh this is 40 cents cheaper a gallon i'll get that it might do damage to your car check around see what's cheaper like i said the places you shop at grocery stores and about you know they offer a lot of them offer fuel discounts every penny right now helps i hope this video can help you save some money and if you have any pointers tips leave comments below fill my box down there and anybody go through the comments they might tell you something how how to save money for fuel with gas prices going through the roof every penny can help thumb up the video if you're new hit that subscribe button like i said my last couple videos i've had like 99 percent of people not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button please it helps me out thumb up the video that helps me out share it out and i'll talk to you next time thank you for watching if there's anything else you would uh, like me to touch on in the fuel let me know most diesel most guys running diesel or under a fuel program via their carriers because they can buy cheaper than what it's in the sky they don't pay the sky price they pay their price which is a lot cheaper of course they're paying the tax they can be saving 40 60 cents a gallon give or take on the size of the company how much fuel they promise each uh, carrier each pump each company they buy so much for TA, they get this discount. They buy so much from laws, they get that. You know, each company has their own specs, savings. So that's why I'm not really touching on the diesel prices. I'm just giving you some tips to save on gas. Now, if you are an owner operator, true owner operator running on your own authority and you're having trouble with fuel, check out NASDAQ. They're out of, I believe, around Nashville. They have one killer fuel program you yeah, it's a yearly fee you have to pay but they save a lot at the pump nastic google check them out that fuel that water bottle i just sent i will leave the link down below if anybody has any tips to help people save money uh, save money at the fuel pumps leave them below please because right now we all need to help each other we don't need to tear down each other we need to help people right now Drill here, drill now, 
and uh make sure you hit that thumb i thank you all so much for everything you've done to my channel last week i'm just trying to help everyone out if you have any comments questions and concerns leave them below hit that subscribe button hit that thumb up it helps my channel thank you everyone i'll talk to you next time Thank <laughs> you.